Hi guys, this is William and welcome to Visionaire uh, Tutorial 16 where we're going to talk about dialogues. This is the first of a few videos where we're just going to delve deep into the dialogue system. But this will just be an introduction. Um, so first up, we are going to look at how dialogue works and how we set it up in the system. Now when we deal with dialogues, there are three sections you need to be aware of. And this is when you, you're setting up the dialogue. So the first is setting up a dialogue area. So I'm quickly going to show you that. So you go to your character screen, you choose your main character, and here, the dialogue area, this is where you set up the first section. And really what this does is this is the UI area where, you, where your questions appear when you interact with an NPC, when you talk with them. So uh, you talk to your, uh, an NPC character, Joe, and you, you ask him questions. Now the, the graphical element with the questions, that's this area, the dialogue area where you set it up. And you can see it because there's active up and down arrows. So if you have multiple questions, you scroll up and down. That's the first area that you need to set up. The second area is setting up initial, initiating dialogue. And that is done with an action part. Let's quickly show you guys. Um, called, let me show you, start dialogue. That's the second item. So this, if you put this action part in, you need to select a dialogue, which we'll get to, that, and that initiates dialogue. So that's the second part that you need to have in place. The third is the actual dialogue that occurs. So, and that's done here under the dialogue option. Here you create a new dialogue, and then you have multiple questions that you can ask and specific behaviors that occur. So, so that's everything that you need to get um, it up and running. So obviously the first thing we'll do is we will set up our dialogue area. Um, so I will click there. Now, please keep in mind, you need to make sure that you are on your main character. I don't want to set up a dialogue, or, or, um, a dialogue area for character Joe because he's an NPC. So I want to do it for our main character. So I'm sure I ensure that I'm on my main character and I'm on my dialogue area. Now here we've got several things that we need to set up. First up is we will choose a background image, and that will be the background UI of when text appears. So let me just go there, go find it. And I just have a simple black box as a background. So I'm just going to click on that. And it's going to appear on screen, as you can see. Now, imagine this is your screen. I don't want my dialog box to appear yet at the top. Okay, that's not going to work for me. So instead, I click and I move it. So that's the first step. So now we have the UI element on screen. But now we need to define where the text will appear when questions pop up. So that we do with this set dialogue area. Now in this version I have a bit of an issue where the set dialogue doesn't immediately work. You can see if I drag then nothing happens and I only move this. In fact I am expecting to drag a box where the text will appear. Now to correct this go back to your dialogue placement button and just switch tabs and go here and let's see now right it looks good now I don't get the the move icon now what I will do is I will click and drag an area out okay so this is now my text area this is where my text will appear when I chat to an NPC I'm leaving some space on the side because I want to put up and down arrows here if I have more than the allocated items okay so if I've got 20 questions I want the user to be uh, able to scroll through them so now we want to add our arrows and that you do right here so you have active and inactive 
uh, active scroll arrows this is what will show when the mouse hovers over it and you can then click it so I'm gonna just insert my up arrow and that's gonna be that one and I'm gonna insert my down arrow that's gonna be that one and I am going to do the same with the inactive now you see what happened here because I had been working here I accidentally was still on the text placement tool and it placed a little block there uh, so because I was working it it registered a click and it moved my text area so just be sure that you always have it this way and deactivate that tool if you don't want to affect it okay but now we've placed our up and down arrows and now I'm going to move them and we do that with the place graphics of dialog. So I'm going to click there. I'm going to move my down arrow. Oops, let's move it up a bit. Just make sure that my text area is still working. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to move my down arrow there. I'm going to move my up arrow there. And these are my inactive items as well. And it needs to match up. So I'm just going to move it in there and move it in there. Okay. Now keep in mind, if I wanted to align it up properly, I can use this area to to um, line it up by disabling certain graphical elements and then reducing the opacity of one. And you can see there that I I see both now, and now I can line it up properly. So I can do the same with the other one. And let's do that. Scroll arrow down. Let's reduce the opacity of that one. There we go. Okay, so now it's perfectly lined up. I'll just enable all my graphical elements again and make sure it's all set to 100. So that's the the setup of of the the UI area. So now we need to also create our font because we will have text be displayed and we need fonts uh, for that. So to do that I'll go to the font area. Here I already have a Joe font but what I want is I want a dialog active and inactive font. So I'm going to just right click and duplicate Joe's font and I'm going to call it active dialog. And I will make this the color white. I will duplicate this again and call this inactive. So now we have our inactive dialog as well. And the last thing we need to do is we need to go and set it as the active dialog and inactive dialog font that you do on the character your main character and then properties and here we select dialog selection font inactive so I'm going to choose that and dialog font selection um, active there you go so we are now ready to build our dialog itself and dialogues with NPCs will always be on the NPC itself. So I'm going to click on Joe here, and I'm going to click on Dialogues. Now this is where we, go, we are going to build our dialogue. The uh, questions I'm going to ask him, and the responses that he's going to give me. So the first thing to do is we are going to create a new dialogue. So I'm going to click on this plus button, and I'm going to get the option Dialogue 0. Let's rename it to Introduction. Now, as soon as I created this, I got this first dialog layer that appeared. Now, what I'm going to do here is I am going to uh, just quickly go through the interface with you. The This plus and minus button, what this does is this adds a new dialog layer, uh, or let's think of it as a question. So there's my first question. Who are you? That can be my first question. And if I add another one, that's uh, let's just select that top layer. This can be goodbye. Okay, so that's going to be my first option that appears. This will be my second. 
And if I want to remove any of these, I just click on the red uh, minus icon. Now here, let's let's add a new layer. Okay, so I'm going to just put here the the text. Uh, this is what will appear on the actual screen that you need to select. So I'm going to say, "Who are you?" Right. So that's what what will appear on screen that you need to click to initiate dialog. Then here we have the character response. So this is Joe. So this is his response after you've clicked on who are you. And he's going to say, I am Joe. Now what you can do as well is you can have an alternative text dialog. So if I tick here, I can say, this is that. Here it, we will have on screen the text, who are you? But when we click on it, our character will actually say, hey guy, who are you? So that's the point of the alternative text dialog, dialog box. We then have the condition area here. So this is how we tie in responses at certain points with conditions. So um, once you've looked at a door, uh, we can have a condition that says door looked is true. And then that's set when you look at the door. And here you can put that in. And if it is true, then this line is active. And we'll deal with that in the next video. But for now, know that that's what this does. Only show dialog part if condition X is true. The same with the value. Here we can set a value. If the value is equal to 1, then show this. If the value is equal to 2, then show that. So the execute action here we can set additional things that occur or are set once this dialogue is run. So if if this is my introduction, if I wanted to set a dialogue that says Joe introduced, then I do that here. Okay, so that executes an action part basically. Here I can call an action. So if I've built an, a cutscene or something that needs to trigger elsewhere after this has been completed, then I can put that there. And here we define what happens once this dialogue has run. Okay, so if I've gone who, if I've clicked on who are you, what what should happen? So if we stay at the same dialogue level, um, we will simply just stay where we are, and it will show this line again. If we switch to a previous dialogue level, this occurs when I have nested options. So if I select my one and I add another one I get 1.1 now this is a nested item uh, and here I can say tell me about yourself uh, and here I say nothing to say now here if I tick it to switch to previous dialogue level once I've run this I will see this option and then once it's completed I will go back up to this option so switch to previous dialog it's all about what appears on screen at any given time that's what this is about um, and when you start playing around with it and in the next video it'll become clear I also want to just highlight that what where you place which layer you're selecting that defines where a new dialog layer is placed when I press plus okay so if I select one and click plus I get 1.1 if I select 1.1, I get 1.1.1. Okay, so that's nested. If I wanted to add a 2, I don't click there. I click on the first dialog layer, uh, uh, layer and I click on that. So now I get top level items. Okay, good enough. So let's add our dialog line. I'm going to click there. I'm going to click add two dialog entries. This will be my tell me about yourself. And then the NPC will respond. Nothing to say really. The next one is gotta go. Bye. NPC will say okay. Bye. So those are my two dialogue options. Now there's certain behavior I want here. Um, the first thing is on my gotta go buy. I want to click exit 
dialogue afterwards because I want to exit the dialogue that's happening. Okay. We also have delete dialogue part. So if I click on tell me about yourself and that is selected, once this has been run through, it won't appear again. It's removed from the dialogue system. Okay. So that's the last two buttons that um, that's important there. So now we have our dialogue. Uh, we have all the different parts set up, but now we need to link our dialogue to our character. And that we do under actions. So this means when does the dialogue initiate? When, when, when do we trigger the dialogue window? So I'm going to add a new entry, a new command that says when I use character Joe, what do I want to have happen? So I'm going to add a new action part and I'm going to call this start dialogue layer. And here I'm going to go introduction. Okay, so now if I use my character Joe, the dialogue will will play. So let's see. You see, there we go. Uh, that appeared. Now, one thing I do want to do is I actually want some dialogue to occur before the introduction, before the dialogue layer starts. So I'm going to add a new um, layer and I'm going to display the text and I'm going to move this up. And I'm going to I'm going to say hi. What's up with you? And then the character will respond. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it. And the character will respond nothing much. And then we go into the dialogue. So let's give that a go and see. So I'm going to use, hey, what's up with you? Nothing much. And now my dialogue happens. And I can now tell me about yourself. Nothing to say really. And you see that has been removed. And now I click, got to go, bye, go, okay, bye. And there we go. And I'm, I've left the dialogue. If I now use him again, you can see I've got, got to go, bye. So that's the thought process behind how to link the um, dialogue to your character itself. So there's a lot of content here. Uh, be sure to download the tutorial files. Check out the, the actual uh, manual that we've got that's that's quite detailed that should be uploaded quite soon after the video is up so um, use those resources because a lot of little bits that you need to remember but um, that's it for this video guys I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one